Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for April 2023. We're just going to jump right in here. And in your current general energies, you have this card that says, learn how to honor and treat your body well. Don't dwell on what might be on the other side of that closed door, is what the second card says. So for a lot of you, it's like there's, I'm pretty sure every single reading I've been doing for you recently, Virgo, has talked about kind of like transitioning. It's like you're going from one thing to another. Or you're changing the way you do things. Uh, I'm pretty sure, yes, yes, this card said yes here, Virgo. <laughs> so I'm going to pull another card, but I'm I'm going to take that as a big time yes to what I just said. And, um, you know, I feel like you're starting to give to the right things is what I'm saying here. Um, I also feel you have two sevens, which is like internal fears that don't exist. So there could be some fears about the changes that you're making, um, you know, especially if this is in work or business. I think the best advice is actually the seven of swords. Uh, seven of swords, of course, can represent lying, cheating, stealing, but that's not the only thing that it represents. It actually represents a hell of a lot more than that. It represents being tactical, and kind of what I'm getting here intuitively, Virgo, is that I feel like you have either had to learn how to be tactical or you are in a situation where you are learning how to be tactical. It's like, you know, let, let's just say that you have a business or a career and you're you're wanting to make some changes. It's like you might make some mistakes, which is fine, right? And uh, as long as you learn from those mistakes. And I feel like the Seven of Swords is saying, instead of like charging right at something, like whatever the change is that you're making right now, it's like, are there tactical ways you can do the things that you're doing? And I think a lot of your lessons coming up will be about that. But these aren't bad lessons. Like I'm not saying the word lessons like, oh, you're gonna hate this. <laughs> it's like different. You have the Strength card. I feel like you've been very patient. And you've been hoping to get to here. Again, you go six of pentacles, judgment, trying to find your purpose to the ace of cups, which is like something that makes your emotions overflow, being very happy. So it's almost like you've just been looking for situations, love, business, and otherwise. We're not talking about just one thing here. We're talking about your whole entire life in this reading. And you've been looking for things that you can put your energy into that actually give energy back to you. You have the King of Swords. I feel like you now have the knowledge and wisdom necessary. It's like you've been to war. <laughs> you have the Five of Wands as well, right below him. So I feel like you've been to war. I always say that he's probably been to the most wars out of all the kings, the King of Swords, but he also has the most knowledge and wisdom. He not only knows how to win, he also knows how to put the those things into practice. It's like one thing, thing to know how to do something. It's another thing to put it into practice. And he just has that like above and beyond knowledge. You know, it, it kind of reminds me of like learning a language. You can learn Spanish all day long, but if you actually go to a Spanish speaking country, you will find that there are like certain slang words and things like that they use and each country is different as well. So it's like he, that's what I mean by learning the ins and outs, right? He learns the little things like the, the slang words of a language. He learns, you know, the extra stuff. So he really has a much better grasp on a topic. And I feel like you have, it's like now I feel you have a much better grasp on something in your life. Again, you have the five of wands, I feel like you've experienced a lot of conflicts, but in your life, or you've experienced maybe a big conflict that um, you know has created this change here. But it looks to me like this is—it's kind of like a healing. Um, Four Swords is a card of resting, relaxing, recovering. So I kind of feel you're in this. Uh, you know, I feel like you're in a very healing place. So let's just put it that way. <laughs> and it's a good thing, obviously. You have that Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is your emotions overflowing. With the um, Strength card. You have this protection card. Uh, uh, you have a, a lion and you have a tiger right here. So you know we're just we're just missing the bear, right? Lion, ti lions, tigers, and bears. But uh, I feel like you are protected at this time, and you're protecting yourself at this time as well, which is of course a good thing. Um, with the King of Swords, you have this originality card. It is a time of originality. Pluto in Aquarius. Um, King of Swords could be in Aquarius, but. Um, I feel like this is more talking about your path, the journey that you're on. It is very original. You might have some original ideas. And, you know, I would tap into those original ideas. I would start using your original ideas. They're not all going to work. You're going to learn some lessons here about what will work and what won't work. But I would do it anyway. I would do those things and make those mistakes anyway, right? It's the only way you can learn. It's the only way you can be successful. With the five of wands here, you have this achievements card. I feel like there you will be achieving a lot in the near future. There like are a lot of achievements coming in for you. 
And it's going to be through, you know, based off of all the hard work that you have been doing for a very long time. I kind of get a weird message here as well, Virgo, where it's like, this is going to sound dumb, but I feel like it's just your time. <laughs> it's like, I kind of feel like fate is just like, you know, kind of, um, you know, turning towards you or it's like, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but it's almost like, you know, if this were the wheel of fortune, it's almost like the wheel of fortune has come to the top again. You know, it's almost like it's just a good time for you coming up. So definitely a lot of good stuff coming in for you. Uh, next in the area of the unexpected, you have this driftwood card it says, go with the flow, trust where the universe is taking you. And then you have this yes card. Yes. <laughs> so you're going in the right direction. You're going to make mistakes. Things will happen. Things won't be perfect. But, um, you know, again, it just is what it is. It's just a natural part of the process. I, I don't know. Like, I feel like I'm one of those people I've learned to embrace it. It's like, just look at my channel. Look at all the ideas I've had. Look at all the ones that haven't worked. There's plenty of them, right? And there are even other channels that I've worked on while I've had this channel that haven't worked. And there are some that have. And it's like, I've just learned to, you know, kind of embrace the flow and just realize that each one, you know, has connected to something else. So even when I've made a mistake, even when I've done something wrong, it, or, you know, I, I don't even look at it as wrong or right or anything like that. I've learned something from it. And I feel that you're almost, um, you know, kind of learning to embrace that type of energy. You have the Six of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. Two sevens to me is internal fears that don't exist. So I definitely feel that it is time for you to release some fears here. Um, the Six of Pentacles is like, you know, this right here could be the fear of where you invest your energy. So you could be fearing um, investing in something like, look, look at this. We go to the Five of Swords. So you could be fearing investing in something and having it lead to a breakup, a separation, or just a loss in your life. Going this way though, you know, Seven of Pentacles is a change in direction. So there could be some loss you've already experienced, but it's actually gonna lead to fulfillment, the Ace of Cups. But I really feel this is saying like, you need to look at the things that you, you invest in. And by the way, this row is meant to represent the unexpected. I don't know if I said that, I don't really feel like there's anything unexpected uh, coming up here, just so you know. Uh, you have the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords, a card of lying, cheating, stealing. Um, you know, some of you could have been could have dealt with toxic energy in the past, but really it's a card of tactics. Again, he's stealing those swords from an army that's in the background of the card. So instead of going to war, he's making sure that the, the swords can't be used against him in battle. So I feel for a lot of you, it's kind of like encouraging you to, um, you know, come up with other ways of doing things in your life. I also definitely feel that there's an uh, there is a change in direction for you. You're changing something. I've been talking to you about this for months now, probably. <laughs> uh, it seems to me like it's a work change. So if it is a work change, I feel it will be very successful. It might not be perfect at first, but that's okay. It's like, I don't know, sometimes I think we do something new. We have to kind of work on how we present something. We have to work on our messaging. You know, that's kind of like popping into my head. So don't be afraid to, you know, experiment. Six of Pentacles is about planting seeds. It says, you know, plant some seeds um, and then whatever grows, double down on the things that grow. So basically double down on the things that work. And I, I know it sounds obvious, but people don't do it. So <laughs> it's not that obvious, right? Let's see. With the uh, Six of Pentacles, you have the Harmony card. You want more peace and harmony in your life for sure. I feel like you've had enough of the chaos, the craziness. And you know I'm not saying life will ever be perfect, but I feel like you want something more peaceful. Uh, with the Seven of Swords, you have the Assertion card. Some of you could have stuck up for yourself or you could be sticking up for yourself in a toxic situation, which is obviously a good thing. I also feel, look at this card as a card of facing a fear. He's about to slay this dragon, this guy right here. Dragons represent our fears. And, you know, as everyone says, dragons guard gold. So it basically our fears, uh, you know, kind of guard a lot of gold from us, you know, guard our successes. And so facing fears allows you to be more successful in life. And uh, I feel like you have, you have and you are. Uh, with the Seven of Pentacles, you have this intuition card. Yes, your intuition is telling you to do something different. I feel like you feel it. Like you feel that you're moving in a new direction. You feel that your life is changing. I, I even think like sometimes when this happens, you know, here, Virgo, I think we can look at people in our lives, friends, family members, you know, uh, just people that we know. And then we start to not resonate with those people anymore. And it's not a criticism. It's, it's not like you're gonna be, I'm not suggesting you have to cut these people out of your life unless they're like super toxic. But again, you might just be like, mm, you know, I don't wanna be this kind of person 
anymore, you know? And I kind of feel like you couldn't be having those moments where it's like you still want to hang out with these people, maybe some of these people in your life, but it's like you're starting to change your story. And when that happens, it's like you start to maybe resist those people. And like I said, I don't think we have to be cutting people out or anything like that, again, unless they're super toxic. But maybe you're just like, no, I maybe it's just kind of like triggering something in you that's saying, oh, change direction, do, do something different, or I don't want my story to be the same as theirs. So you're kind of like making those changes. I hope that makes sense. Uh, next, uh, in the area of what you need to hear right now, you have this main female and you also have this official person. I feel like a lot of you are becoming like an official person, like a, you know, authority figure, someone who's well known. So, you know, if you have, and look at that, 222. I <laughs> love it. One of my favorite numbers right there. So uh, that could be an important number for you, but I feel like you could be becoming well known or kind of like an expert or, you know, kind of, uh, you know, especially if you're trying to do that really good energy right here. I also feel this could be love and there could be an official person who's coming in for you if you want love, or you could be the official person and this main person over here is coming in for you. Again, I don't attach gender to my cards in general readings, it could be any gender. But you have the Judgment card, the Five of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, someone's waking up here. Uh, for some of you, for a very small percentage of you, I do feel this is a person from the past coming back. I don't think that it's like, a, um, you know, like, I, I would say that it was never toxic. Like if you're taking someone back from the past here, this is someone, some of you might be surprised. Like when you when it, when it you find out this person's still interested in you, like maybe they contact you out of the blue because um, maybe you just haven't talked to them in a long time. Again, I kind of get a weird feeling here. And again, I want to stress, I do not recommend going back to exes, period. And um, also, which offends people for whatever reason, but I don't get over it, right? And, and, and prove to me that it wor has worked well for you also. Um, and I'm sure somebody's gonna give me some sort of story. Great, good for you, right? movie about it, as I always say. But what I would say here is that I don't think it's like that. It was never toxic. It was never bad. Probably it just ended. Maybe someone was like moving or, you know, something happened here. And so that is only for some of you. <laughs> uh, for others, I feel like you're waking up. And for most of you, I should say, you're waking up to your true purpose. I feel like you're waking up to what's really going to fulfill you in life. And that might mean that you have to cut some things out here with the Five of Swords. But I want to stress, I don't think you're necessarily cutting people out, but maybe you're having to make some changes in your business. Maybe, and maybe that means people leave right? Maybe that means some people leave your business. But really what I feel like you're doing is it's almost like you're focusing your message. You're becoming much more clear. And I definitely get that here. For others, I do feel like you could be healing from, you know, this way, a separation or a breakup. You have the Queen of Pentacles. Um, I really just see your resources increasing. Queen of Pentacles can be a card of resourcefulness. And I really just see this as you either like making more money or, you know, finding resources you need to be successful as well. So uh, I definitely like that. I also feel like you're going to feel more energetic this month. So like you're able to accomplish more. You know, with the judgment card, you have this romance card. Could be a past person. Again, it was never toxic. If it, But for most of you, I feel it could be a new person that's coming in for you. Definitely true love. You have that uh, Ace of Cups right next to it. I would balance it out. You know, you have the justice card. Justice is, you know, it's a good card, but it kind of says like, don't overgive in this situation. In this area is the area of the good stuff. So I think it's gonna be good, obviously. But again, maybe you have a history of overgiving in connections and I would just be careful of that. It is popping into my head. So even though, as I always say, I label these rows, but you know, again, I read intuitively. So if something pops up, I'm gonna say it. With the Five of Swords, you have this convention card. I would be, I feel like you're breaking free from convention is what you're separating away from. Again, I always say that we have Pluto and Aquarius. And with Pluto and Aquarius, um, Pluto and Aquarius does not like convention, does not like, you know, th convention basically is the way things have always been, you know? And Pluto and Aquarius wants us to evolve and grow. And that's what I feel like you're doing here. Uh, with the Queen of Pentacles, you have the Discovery card. Some of you could be discovering a resource or discovering some like new opportunities in your life that could be leading to a lot of success. So, you know, I would do that. <laughs> some of you could also be traveling. If, you know, here's the thing. It is kind of popping to my head that if you have the opportunity to like go on an adventure, but this doesn't have to be travel. You could be learning something new, reading a book or, you know, uh, you know, anything like that. Uh, <laughs> I ran out of examples there, Virgo. Uh, whatever it is, it, I, I would say do it. It's gonna be good. It could be like also an opportunity like socialize I'm getting, so I would do that. 
Uh, you have this treasure island card and this animals card. It says unleash and build wealth with your spirit animal. You could be, if you're seeing like the same bird or the same animal day in, day out, or if an animal crosses your path, I would learn about it, whatever animal it is. Uh, definitely popping into my head. It says re reawaken the wild and free spirit that has been keeping you asleep for too long. You also have this treasure island card. The treasure island card is like as above, so below. It can represent a lot of success and abundance. Um, it can also represent just your energy being in alignment, which is gonna be the thing that attracts the most to you. So I feel like you're attracting good things. Uh, the animal card, I feel like is saying like, you know, as always, don't be afraid to be messy, Virgo. Don't be afraid to, you know, kind of like live on the wild side. I lost that card, it went flying, but there you go. You have the Ace of Cups, the Justice card and the Four of Swords. So I'm gonna start here actually. The Four of Swords tells me that you've been healing from something for a long time. Or maybe you're healing, finishing your healing I'm getting. And you know, this person, there's a person in this stained glass window who's blessing another person. So I really feel that a lot of you uh, could be receiving blessings or you could be getting blessings uh, that you've been waiting for for a long time. You have the Justice card, which is like balance. I do feel like you could be balancing things out in your life as well. I also feel that you could be feeling justice. Like you could be feeling like, um, I, don't, I feel like saying you feel that justice is on your side, but that's not like, <laughs> um, that, you know, I really feel that you feel maybe karma is going in, in your direction or maybe you've been proven right about something. So I kind of get that sense of justice. I hope that makes sense. Uh, on top of that, um, and sorry that my phone is going off by the way, but here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that to stop. Normally I turn my phone off, but um, I'm waiting for something important today, so I apologize. But um, you know what I would say here with the Justice card is that I think that it's kind of talking about cause and effect, which we kind of talked about with the Six of Pentacles, planting seeds in a direction and getting a result. But here's the thing is like, normally if you plant a seed, you have to wait for a result, right? And for whatever reason, I feel like you are, this is saying to me that you're getting those results much faster. It's like maybe you're growing something that produces results much faster in your life. Uh, you have the Ace of Cups, so again, it could be love, of course, but it could also be um, your emotions overflowing. I really do get a sense of like peace and harmony here. Um, this flirtation card just popped out. I don't take pop outs, but it's interesting. You could be flirting with a new person here. Um, and uh, sorry, these cards are super sticky. <laughs> or not, not sticky, slippery is the word I was looking for. Uh, with the Ace of Cups, you have the resourcefulness card. Mm, yeah, you're gonna have to be resourceful in love here. Uh, you could be like meeting a person from distance, just looking at these cards. So maybe you're gonna have to be resourceful to be with this person or to be able to travel, to see this person, whatever the case may be. I also get the sense of like attracting, like two busy people. You know, it's like maybe you both have the resources financially, but maybe you don't have the resource of time. You know, maybe um, it's gonna be like a little bit of an effort here. And, you know, this card says resourcefulness, but really I'm getting the word effort popping into my head, but I feel like it's gonna be worth the effort. So worth it. With the justice card, you have this practicality card. You have the convention card right next to it. It's like sometimes, again, Virgo, we have to get messy. You know, they say you have to break a couple of eggs to bake a cake, right? So I feel like for a lot of you, you have to learn that sometimes we make mistakes. Sometimes things happen, but you know, that's life. And you know, sometimes we have to color outside the lines. And I know I can see some of you cringing at the thought of that, but sometimes we have to. With the uh, Four Swords, you have this authority card. Didn't I say this at the beginning of the reading? It's like some of you could be gaining authority or becoming authority figures. Didn't I say that? Or am I making that up in my head? I'm not sure. <laughs> but either way, I feel like you could be becoming an authority figure. If you're working on that, I feel it's gonna be very successful for you. Uh, we're gonna pull five main themes now and see what else wants to come up for you here, Virgo. Uh, you have this harp card, it says great happiness. Yes, I feel there is a lot of happiness and joy coming in for you. You have this uh, dark woman, it says dealings with relationships with a woman with dark uh, complexion or hair. It could be any gender, general reading. You have this wreath, it says sorrow over a loss. Some of you could have lost a dark person in your life or you could have lost a person who meets that description. And there could be some sadness, but again, there is a rebirth happening here. And again, I for most of you, I feel it's a new person. And I feel like that judgment card is saying, you know, judgment is all about changing your life. These people are rising up out of these coffins. The coffin represents their old life. Outside the coffin represents their new life. So I feel like your new life, remember what I said about how you could be walking away from people or you could just not be resonating with people any longer. And I feel like these are all signs that you are basically ascending. And when we ascend, we typically find something better. 
You have this Grasshopper card. It says situation in the balance. It requires careful handling. You have the Justice card here, which would kind of remind me of this. I don't really feel it's a situation in the balance. I feel like it's just saying go, you know, go towards the new direction. You have this egg card. It says success assured with good plans and hard work, which you've been doing for a long time. So I feel like you're getting the results you've been hoping for. And finally, you have this desk card. It says pay attention to your work. Yes. Like I said, I wouldn't be afraid of experimenting. You know, again, I want to stress that I feel in work or business, a lot of you, it's like you could be making mistakes, but they're not really mistakes, Virgo. I feel like they're just cracking eggs, right? Getting ready to bake the cake. So don't be afraid to do that. But this looks pretty good. So thank you for being here, Virgo. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your uh, month.